We're delighted to have uh, as our guest chef uh, for our first annual symposium, uh, the executive chef at Miraval in Arizona. But uh, we just learned that he's come full circle, coming back to his hometown area that he grew up in Arlington, Virginia. Uh, he, he led a, a very typical Arlington life and knew nothing about nu nutrition or, or spa food. Uh, he worked at uh, some very great resorts uh, that have wonderful spas like en Enchantment and, uh, and uh, uh, came to Miraval about five or six years ago and uh, literally changed his life. I will just introduce you to Chef Chad. Thank you, Bernie. And uh, thank you, Mary, for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. I see a few familiar faces out there, but uh, for anybody that I haven't met, uh, my name is Chad Luce, and I'm the chef at Miraval, as Bernie said. I've actually been there for not quite three years. Sometimes it feels like it's been five, just because it feels like I came home when I got there. Um, you know, in the Miraval kitchen, it's, um, I think probably our number one goal is to First of all, change people's perception of what uh, what healthy food is. You know, in out in the mainstream resort world, I encountered a lot of a lot of uh, misconceptions when I mentioned spa food, and they seem to make the jump right to overcooked, no color, no salt, no flavor. Um, and so, you know, our goal is to create meals that obviously taste great, um, but also look great and have the, the added bonus of being good for you as well. Or, you know, in some cases, maybe not as bad for you, depending on what the guest wants, because it is about choice. So, you know, we're not there to be the food police either. Um, we're really committed to helping our guests lead healthier lives by not only providing them with really good, nutritious food uh, that's based on as much seasonality and uh, local or regional ingredients as possible, but also through um, education with our uh, daily cooking demonstrations. We do a couple of uh, dinner demonstrations a week that are very well attended. And you know, I would have to say that the, the cooking demonstrations and lectures are probably some of the most well attended events at Miraval. They're consistently oversold with a wait list, which is very gratifying for us. And it's always really nice to go out and, uh, you know, and interact with our guests. And, you know, most of our guests are very knowledgeable about food already. Um, some know about cooking, some don't know how to cook, but they know how to eat healthy. And so to those people, you know, I always make a point of stressing that, you know, if, if you already know how to cook and you're thinking about making the transition to healthy cooking, it's, there's not that big of a leap to make. You know, the mechanics are pretty much the same. So if you take out the deep fryer, um, you know, you know how to saute, you know how to grill, you know how to poach or braise, anything like that. The mechanics are the same. You know, I came into spa food about about seven years ago uh, with really no idea of um, what it was all about. I learned very quickly, um, and you know, I think for us, it's really about uh, utilizing fresh and sometimes non-traditional ingredients to create familiar textures and flavors as we're reducing fats and sugars and sodium and things like that. Um, and it's it's a challenge that. Uh, that I and all of my staff really enjoy because it's not just about cooking. You actually have to think a little bit about what you're putting into your food. And uh, it's uh, something that causes you to, you know, continue to learn every day, kind of gets you out of your comfort zone a little bit. And uh, that's, that's really, it makes it really enjoyable to come to work. Plus, when we see the impact that we're making in people's lives to help them lead better, healthier lives and see the smile on their face when they realize that it's good and it's delicious. Um, that's, you know, for me, that's really a great, uh, a great honor to be a part of that. So I'd like to just uh, open it up to any questions before I get back to finish up lunch. <laughs> and by the way, I'd like to uh, thank Susan Delbert and her staff, her culinary staff here. They're doing most of the, uh, most of the hard work back in the kitchen. I get to swan around in my clean chef coat out here, but uh, I go back and yes. Do you miss using cream and butter and things like that? Not really, mm -hmm. not really. You know, I found ways to overcome it, and you know, I mean, there's still a splash of cream or a light touch of butter here and there, so I won't say it's 
completely gone. But you know, we found ways to substitute that I think uh, give us every bit as much flavor and texture. So yes. Yes, I, at least for myself, I can't speak for everybody in the industry, but uh, you know, my, really for me, my preference is foods that are fairly simple, full of flavor, easy to make, but you know, five or six ingredients, a few steps, um, things that are easy to take home, things that you know, don't intimidate the average home cook into just not making them at all. Absolutely. I hope that's wet your appetite because uh, <laughs> Chef has been working since yesterday with the kitchen crew here at the club. I dare say it's a new experience for them too. And uh, we have to clear the room while the tables are reset. So you get a 10 minute stretch. There are restrooms here on the right, upstairs, and come back in 10 minutes. Thank you, Bernie.